this is Brad Pluth from Dick's House of Sport, and a little one week out from my trip to Van Moons, and just give you a little update. Uh, got a good workout in this morning. My goal was to do 20 minutes on a Stairmaster, and finally did it this morning, so that felt pretty good. And then came in and trying to kind of explain to you how I use technology to create feels. So this morning I was working on like a little wedge test and like a 20 shot wedge test, which is basically from 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 110 yards. Uh, hit two shots, just trying to make micro adjustments on each one. So uh, that just helps me get a feel for size and speed. Uh, the metrics that I typically look for when I'm working on my own game is carry distance. I'm big on carry because I know I can carry to certain yardage. Every green bounces and rolls out a little different. If I can control my carry, I'm usually pretty good. So, and then I'll look a little bit on. Side tolls. So TrackMan's awesome. So maybe side tolls. I don't do. I have face and path up. I don't look at it that much. I'm more concerned about a little bit of the launch angle. Uh, we'll that so I'm trying to get that between 28 and 31 ish. So I've actually gotten a lot steeper over the years than I, than I used to be. I used to be like 33, 35. Kind of brought that down. A little bit more penetrating ball flight. Maybe able to control the ball a little bit better. So. As I'm using gears, um, I'll show you a little bit of also for putting. So I've been working a little bit on uh, or working through David Orr's program or Flat Stick Academy. I think it's a great program both for coaches and players. Is Flat Stick Academy is fantastic. Learned a lot of great stuff, but I've been able to work on my putting stroke. Um, feels good. So. When I see kind of symmetric motions like this, I'm happy. So this is my, my last putting stroke. I don't mess with this too much. So I like what I'm seeing. Kind of, he's he's helped me understand kind of the joint by joint or segment by segment segment approach. Like how do you fix? Like what's causing what? Uh, a couple of key takeaways that I've learned so far is everybody's chest is slightly rotated, but it needs to be matched by side bend. Okay, so nobody is vertical like you kind of think of your clavicles like, or like, if your clavicles are vertical it's really hard to release the putter so if your clavicles kind of tilt them open it's easy to get that putter to work more what i believe is a little, a little bit of an arc right or kind of a, a brush stroke if you will so again from a top view from above there's very very little translation going back i might have just a little too much weight on my toes not a bad thing for me because I'm usually on my heels, so I'm kind of liking that. And then I'm probably gripping the putter a little bit more firm than I used to, just because I don't want any wobble in my attachment for you Delta Machine guys. Um, so just a little bit more firm with my hands, and then like, you can kind of see there's not a whole lot of wiggle marks in the, uh, in the putting stroke. So my grip pressure is constant, it's not changing. Wedges. I got one wedge shot on here. I'm just kind of looking for symmetry. You can kind of see here what I mean in a second. So this was a little 30 yard shot, I believe. I mean, actually, this is a little bit high, so this is probably not my favorite one, but this is it is what it is. Um, I'm looking for kind of equal back, equal through. That means my my torso and my chest are kind of matching the same. My hands are along for the ride more so than my hands swinging and actively participating in the swing. So I like good hands, don't get me wrong, but I'm not a big fan of this extra high. Maybe I was hitting this a little high and that would be a match, but for the most part is I'm trying to hit these shots. I'm just trying to keep them, keep them down, um, especially when we're going to Oregon. It's going to be windy, probably a little cool. The ground's pretty firm or kind of sand, but firm. All stuff I love, so really looking forward to the challenge. Uh, got one week left. Uh, I get to see my, my buddy, and uh, we're gonna have a great time. So probably sneak in one more, uh, one more of these before I head out, and then look forward to sharing with you my trip. Talk soon.